so I am so sorry about yesterday's video it the audio was off and yeah so that was not the video about social anxiety but I would like to talk about social anxiety today um, I have and this is like kind of like a, I'm gonna tell you what happens to me with this certain thing and I want you guys to say yeah that happens to me too so you just so I don't feel so crazy that's what's gonna happen okay uh, so I went to the dentist which is why I was touching my teeth um, and I actually love getting my teeth cleaned it's like really one of my favorite things I find it really relaxing and I just love having squeaky clean teeth and knowing that everything's a-okay with my teeth uh, but I had panic attacks the whole night before the night going up and anytime I have some sort of set time or set plan I have an either anxiety or panic attacks and it could be I don't know an appointment to go eat cake or get my nails done or get my hair cut like fun things and it doesn't matter and it ruins my entire day because it doesn't matter if like the appointments at five o'clock until then it's ruined my entire day and then afterwards I'm so exhausted that it ruins the whole rest of my day and I don't I have this fear of being late um, that something will happen that I will aggravate someone or the car won't start or just these really irrational things but um, even when I've calmed myself down to the point where like I'm like it's like, gonna be okay even if you're late it's gonna be fine I still panic about it like it's just I am crazy like I just have such anxiety about any sort of appointment and I tend to cancel a lot of appointments um, if I'm having a ton of panic attacks the night before because it also helps like physically it's really rough on me with panic attacks and I just feel like oh my gosh like I, I should probably cancel this tomorrow because I'm gonna feel like crap and I don't know if I'm really gonna enjoy this um, but yeah I kind of have that social anxiety and I also have social anxiety with like meeting up with friends and stuff like that I'm not going to like entertain them. I'm sorry that Bella is like making, I'll show you. Um, if you can see her, she's like making a little cave out of the fleeces. So it's like shaking the entire bed. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, I don't know. I just, I feel like I have to like entertain them. And if I don't, then they don't want to, they won't want to talk to me ever again. And like just really weird thoughts and just so irrational. And I know that they're irrational, but I just have like a really hard time. And um, there for a period, I kind of did like immersion therapy where like I just had a ton of appointments. I had probably like three appointments a week because I was seeing a chiropractor maybe even more because I was seeing a chiropractor like two times a week and I was seeing a therapist and I usually had some other doctor like my regular doctor or my psychiatrist or um, any of my other doctors that I would see so I was doing it a ton and it it didn't it never stopped I still had anxiety over them the only thing that has minorly helped me is that I now have someone that will drive me to the appointment and I feel like that gives me a little bit of accountability because I have to tell that person I canceled the appointment and also if I'm not feeling well then I have someone to drive um, which means I can take my medication if I need to because I don't like to take my medication and drive um, and then also just if I'm really having a lot of anxiety and whatnot I don't tend to like to drive either so that's the only thing that's really helped me at all. So in the comments down below, I would love if you would let me know if you have anything even close to this or some sort of social anxiety um, that affects your life in any way. And if there's anything that you have done to kind of help ease that anxiety or even get over that. Because I know that there's a lot of people that have gotten over it. So um, I am open to hear what you guys have to say. So. So sorry about the 
video yesterday, but still talking about social anxieties today, so hopefully that's a little bit more helpful hearing what I'm saying out of my mouth instead of other audio. But I love you guys so much, and I'm sending out X doubles, and I hope you guys are having a pain-free, stress-free day, and as always, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye!